If you want to find out what that is and why I've spent the last couple of days making it, then stay tuned to this week's Real Home Studio vlog. Just before we dive straight in, I want to remind you guys, please to like and subscribe up here on YouTube. And if you've got something to say, please do drop it in the comments box below. Welcome to the Real Home Studio vlog. So the last couple of days uh, I've been spent uh, with hammers and nuts and bolts, uh, jigsaws, uh, getting the, uh, the tools out. Uh, and it's been a whole lot of fun actually making something which I've been wanting to make for some time. But I never quite got the design right uh, or the approach right. Either it was a too flimsy design or I just didn't feel like it was going to work or I didn't have the space for it in the car. The truth is it's something that I really wanted to get sorted out because uh, my band's got some really cool gigs coming up. We've got some really nice uh, stages to play on. And uh, every stage is an opportunity, particularly I found uh, working in a tribute band. Uh, Compared to working as I do as a soloist, where um, I may be playing at an event or at a wedding, where it's a real mix of people, uh, when you're working in a more specific group, uh, be that more a sort of a cover band, which does a certain, uh, maybe a certain decade or a genre, or working with the tribute band, which is really spearheaded, who's going to like it, you know, fans of the original band, uh, they're very much, the audience are also potential clients. So I really um, want to market the stage, get the stage looking as good as possible, make sure that everyone that's enjoyed that event goes away knowing the band name. But there's a few tricky limitations within the design which I had to approach, one being just the limited space, which I know uh, if you guys are driving to gigs, or not just gigs, but working as musicians, how quickly your cars fill up with gear uh, and often you've got to you know be really I don't know if you're like me you might find yourself taking car seats in and out of the car all the time uh, just to make space for people and for equipment uh, that's certainly the case um, with my band and spaces at an absolute premium so what I was making had to concertina down uh, essentially going down to a flat pack so it wasn't the option to make something like really high quality and heavy and using utilizing heavy woods because uh, it was just going to be too heavy to, and too, too clunky, just not fit in the vehicle. And just, we wouldn't be taken out if it's too heavy. The older you get, the lighter the gear gets, I can tell you that. There's a couple of other bits of uh, marketing, if you like, um, that I use to dress the stage uh, when I'm out with the band. A couple of really easy things to do, which uh, you know you, all you guys can do. One thing's, of course, the classic on the kick drum, You know, making sure that you've got the band logo on the kick drum and any information that you want on the kick drum. Uh, and we also use a vinyl uh, backdrop as well behind the band. I find the vinyl one just keeps it um, multi-usable, if you like. Um, some of the bigger venues will have projectors and I let them take care of it. But when, if we're doing smaller venues or if we're doing weddings or bespoke events, the vinyl backdrops are um, really handy actually just to frame the stage and make it all look a bit more pro. By the time you know the lights come down and you've got your stage lights on, um, even a tatty vinyl backdrop, which you can get when it's in the back of the car over a few years, you know, really smartens up and looks really nice. I find uh, the best way to mount these at the back um, is to just get yourself a very inexpensive um, photo frame from uh, eBay. You're talking very inexpensive, about 20 quid and a couple of um, heavy duty bulldog clips. The frames are for like green screens and for photo shoots, that kind of thing. They're very expensive, very light. They're just like tub tubular metal, but they're pretty strong. And you get a couple of stands with those and it's inexpensive. I've used mine in the back of the car for years now and it's still going strong. And as I say, it's cheap as chips. Great way just to hang up that backdrop and just stick it uh, behind the band. So onto what I've been making over the last couple of days. Now I play in a Chaz and Dave tribute band. For you guys that don't know uh, who Chaz and Dave are, they were really big here in the UK and a whole bunch of other countries as well, but uh, specifically the UK. And it's a very uh, English style of music that really came from uh, the pubs and the bars and history of music hall. Um, predominantly in the south of the country. So it's got real London connotations. It's got a real kind of knees up party, family, uh, around a piano kind of vibe. It's really, the music's really spawned from um, so many families, sort of from the, I guess, the early 1900s, all having a stand up piano and that being a, a large source of entertainment for the families. So it really has a sort of suggested feel about it. And an upright piano is really quite central 
to the feel of the group. Now, for you keys players out there, you'll know that depending on what kind of group you do, if you do anything that's authentic, so you know, I'm thinking it's like boogie woogie, that kind of thing, it can be uh, visually a bit disappointing to have uh, your stage piano just on a cross stand or a more table style stand. It just doesn't cut it, doesn't look the business. You know, ideally what you'd want is uh, an upright piano shape or shell around your stage piano. So that's exactly what I was after. I started looking into it a number of years ago and there's a few ways you can go about it. You can um, gut out a upright piano, you can gut the strings out. Um, it's quite a dangerous job. You've got to really know what you're doing. There's a lot of tension. There's a lot of big strings uh, on the piano. It's quite a lot of work. And once you've gut it out, you've still got quite a heavy shell. The woods on a piano are typically pretty thick, pretty hefty. It's certainly not going to be something that you're going to be easily lugging in and out of a car or van. It's, you know, still a heavy uh, bit of gear. Um, so that's for me more of a, an option if you were going to be keeping it at home. Um, that might make you know your stage piano look a bit prettier and fit in with your furniture. The second option are a number of companies that will make bespoke um, shells for you, but still the ones I looked into, firstly they're you know upwards of a thousand pounds and more, uh, and uh, sometimes they're not looking quite as convincing as you like. Sometimes they're still on sort of little stalky legs, that kind of thing, and also not still particularly portable or, or lightweight. And when I mean portable, the amount of space is literally, my brief was that it had to concertina down, go behind the driving seat, and the top of the piano was just gonna have to slide and be in the piano case with the piano. So really, really limited space. So I came up with a design which um, was made out of hardboard. So um, very lightweight, um, very flexible, um, not the most durable of woods, so it can be a bit tricky to work with, it can kind of shatter quite easily when you're working with it, but uh, it's inexpensive, it's the right kind of um, lightweight as I say, and it would concertina down. So to make it, I had a couple of large pieces of hardboard, just cut it down to size around my stage piano. So say the main thing about the design was that it could concertina down. So I made three boards to the back of the piano and then two for the sides, taking most attention, of course, to the side. that's always gonna be facing the stage. So that's my left side. Screw them all together with flush hinges. That's really important if you make anything like this because you want it to um, flat pack down. So you want hinges to come flush together. You're never gonna get it completely flush because you're dealing with nuts and bolts. Um, but you can get a pretty flush, certainly flush enough, and it's a fairly, again, a fairly flexible kind of wood. So um, you can kind of get it pretty much down to about a couple of inches of thickness. So enough to slide down for my brief behind a driving seat and stay really compact. So once that was that together, all I needed to do was to uh, make a top. And the top fixes on with two cupboard magnets, and those two magnets make a really big difference to the stability of the stage piano. So you've got your five pieces that concertina down together with flush hinges, and then a top with uh, two uh, cupboard magnets on them, which really, as I say, hold the whole thing together and keep that stability together. Once you're there, you just gotta paint it up, put your logo on the front, and there you go. Once you're done, you've turned your not so nice looking, kind of, it looks a bit like an 80s synth in it, stage piano. You've kind of turned that into a more authentic, upright looking piano, uh, where it looks just great for gigs. I think it's a great way to do it for sort of theater productions, that kind of thing as well. And uh, it just really helps dress the stage and really importantly kind of gives across the image that you want to give across and it's another opportunity to get your band name out there on stage so you make sure that you're really marketing yourself to the max. Remember if you want to know uh, more about how to fast track yourself to success with your band, how to get your mind in the right mindset for success with your band and beyond as a musician, then do make sure you go and check out my free course, The Music Money Mindset. If you are making something for your band, uh, you're getting going again post pandemic and you're marketing your band up, you want to get some cool stuff um, on stage and let me know, let me know in the comments box below what you're getting up to. Also, if you play the keys and you think this is a cool idea, you're gonna make it yourself, let me know in the comments box below. Most importantly, guys, go and have yourselves a great day.